Now we return to Chicago tonight's Nick Blumberg, who's reporting from Albany Park on the city's northwest side as part of our In Your Neighborhood series. Nick. Thanks, Paris. I'm joined by Alderwoman Rosana Rodriguez Sanchez of the 33rd Ward, which includes parts of Albany Park. Thanks so much for spending part of your evening with us. We appreciate it. When we spoke with you last April at the beginning of this pandemic, you were really concerned about folks losing their jobs and potentially losing their homes. There is still an eviction moratorium in place, but are you concerned that there's potentially an eviction crisis looming when that should be lifted? We are very concerned and we are pleased to see that there is movement at the state level um, to make sure that there is uh, rent uh, relief that is coming and for small landlords. Uh, but yes, we, we are concerned and, and people are concerned. People have been contacting our offices trying to figure out how they can uh, find help, particularly with undocumented people in our ward that don't really have a lot of access to resources. Yeah, particularly with undocumented folks, are there concerns that, you know, the state is setting aside, hopefully stimulus money for rental assistance, you know, how are you going to ensure that those folks have access to those resources? So because the city of Chicago has established that city monies can go, uh, we, we can definitely use resources. Um, when we establish programs, we're going to have to look into what are the buckets that we're gonna that we're gonna use. Um, but the fact that we are talking at the state level about rent relief is a, a really huge step. I'm really pleased about that. Uh, there's also been obviously a lot of fear from businesses about being able to stay open. You're backing a measure that would let uh, restaurants and bars get their liquor license fees reimbursed if they weren't able to open up. How, how do you see businesses faring in your ward? So in, in our ward, we are really lucky, I would say, that uh, people definitely visit their restaurants. We're a very diverse neighborhood. We have, uh, we have restaurants that serve food from everywhere. Um, we're a very walkable neighborhood and people support their businesses here. So we have been lucky that we haven't lost uh, a lot of businesses. We are actually welcoming new businesses in the in the ward, which I'm very happy about. And I'm really hoping that we're going to continue to see uh, those businesses thriving now in the summer that people are going to be able to be outside more. Yeah, the summer months, hopefully bringing better things. Also, you know, hopefully more and more vaccines. There have been these reports in recent weeks of a couple of vaccine providers getting their doses cut off, you know, uh, vaccinating people who uh, really weren't eligible. Do you have any concerns about folks in your ward being able to uh, get access to those shots? So we have been lucky that we have Swedish Covenant Hospital uh, very close to our ward, um, as well as other small clinics uh, that have been vaccinated their patients. Um, so right here in our ward, we have around an 11% to 14% of people that have been vaccinated. We still have a lot of work to do around it, and there's a lot of education that we have to do, but I think that we are um, en route to, to be able to accomplish that. We've got about a minute left, but you spoke in, in City Council this week in support of the Puerto Rican Self-Determination Act, which is uh, supposed to be going uh, forth in Congress. We'll let the island decide if it's going to be a territory, a state or something else entirely and you said your personal uh, experience shaped your opinion on that. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, of course. Uh, so this is an effort to decolonize Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is a colony of the United States and has been for 123 years. Uh, I grew up in a neighborhood that didn't have running water in, in Puerto Rico because our water was being diverted to a Navy base that was in Ceiba, a U.S. Navy base. Um, Puerto Rico has had to experience colonialism um, in, in a very hard way, and I think that it is time um, for, for the people of Puerto Rico to be able to determine what is the relationship that they want to have with the, with the United States, and, and this measure will help accomplish that. All right. Well, thank you so much, Alderwoman Rodriguez Sanchez, for spending part of your evening with us. And now, Paris, we go back to you. All right, uh, obviously a very emotional issue for Chicago's Puerto Rican community. Nick, thank you. We'll be checking in with you uh, in just a bit.